Okay, I want to start you out with a special case of permutations here. Um, basically, I want to ask, do a simple example. It says, how many ways can you arrange all of the objects? So suppose you have n objects and wish to arrange all n of them in a specific order like we did with the amino acids. This actually is a special case of the permutation formula and it's written as follows. It's n it's a permutation of n p n. In other words, you have n total objects and you want to arrange n of the total of the objects. And n p n is always n factorial. Now, permutations can be written in different ways like I could also write it like this or write it like this, but I prefer this form down here. Okay, so let's look at an example. How many ways can you turn in a batting order for a baseball team if you only have nine players? Well, a baseball team only has nine people batting. So the batting order has nine batters and you have nine players. And so you're going to use all nine of the nine players. So basically, N is going to be nine, and R is going to be nine. Now, R is this number. We call this number R later, but uh, in this case, the two numbers are the same because we're choosing nine out of nine. So we want to know how many arrangement, how many nine-player arrangements we can make out of nine players. So basically. A um, couple things you need to think about here. The order of the arrangements is important. If I change just one batter in this, then it's a different order. So that tells me that I'm looking for permutations. And the other thing is, is there's no repetition allowed because I can't have the same guy bat in two different positions. So since this is 9P9, by this definition up here, we can just calculate 9 factorial. Okay, here's another example. Suppose there are six horses in a race. How many orders can the six horses finish? Now, since I want to know the orders of all six horses out of, out of six horses, then order makes the uh, order relevant. And uh, obviously, you can't have repetition. So this would be out of six horses, how many ways can I arrange six horses? So that would be 6P6, which is 6 factorial, or 720. And then uh, here's the amino acid example again. How many ways can you arrange 8 amino acids out of 8 amino acids? Well, you want the arrangement, so it's a permutation, and 8P8 is 8 factorial. Now, the general permutation formula is assuming that you're going to choose a number less than N. Okay? R is less than N. So, in that case, you would use the standard formula. The standard formula for permutations to calculate it by hand would be NPR would be N factorial over N minus R factorial. Okay, so to go back to the horse example. If there's six horses in a race, suppose instead of saying how many ways can I list the top six horses, how many ways can the top four horses finish? Maybe we'll ask that question. Well, if that's the question we ask, well, again, repetition makes no sense, and, and the order is relevant. So this would be a permutation where I have n objects, and I want to know how many four-object arrangements there are. So then I would use this formula, 6p4. So using n equals 6 and r equals 4, then I would have 6 factorial over 6 minus 4 quantity factorial, which is 6 factorial over 2 factorial, which is uh, 720 over 2, which is 360. Now, again, on your calculator, there probably is a function to calculate this NPR calculation. And you can go to a YouTube and look up how to calculate permutations on your TI-84 or TI-83 calculator. So, you know, I'll leave that for you to, to search on YouTube. But it, it, it really is a good tool to have because basically if you wanted to do 10P3, you could type in the 10 and then you have to hit that permutation key 
and then type in the three and then hit enter and it'll give you 720. So I give you a little heads up here on the 83 and 84 calculators if you want to read that. Okay, now to calculate them by hand, uh, if you want to calculate 7P2 by hand, well, then you can do that. That would be 7 factorial over 7 minus 2 factorial. Well, that's 7 factorial over 5 factorial. Well, since this is 5 factorial, I can write 7 factorial as 7 times 6 times 5 factorial, and then 5 factorial over 5 factorial is 1, so I get 7 times 6, which is 42. So now, let's look at another couple more permutation problems. How many ways can the first three places be awarded in a race of five contestants? Okay, now again, we know this has to be a permutation problem for two reasons. Uh, number one, repetition doesn't make sense. Like, Joe is not going to get first place and second place, so that's out. Also, since I'm awarding the places, well, if you pick three people, let's say we call them just A, B, and C. Well, it, well, if you say A, B, C, well, that says A is first, B is second, C is third. But couldn't A, B, C finish other ways? So we want to we want to know how many different ways they can finish. So the order is important here. Since order is important, I'm looking for permutation. So actually, I have uh, I have this. Actually, I have this backwards. I need to fix this. This is actually the solution. Uh, to this one so my bad so anyway um, this would be out of five uh, we have five contestants and we want to know how many ways we can arrange three so that would be five factorial over five minus three factorial which is five factorial over two factorial and then five times four times three times two factorial over two factorial you can cancel the two factorials helps a little bit and then five times four times three is sixty or you can just use your calculator function and type in 5P3 to get 60. Okay, now the next one says, how many ways can the positions of vice president, president and vice president be assigned from a group of eight people? Well, again, I can't assign the same person to both positions, so repetition is not allowed. And order would matter because if A is president and V is vice president, then wouldn't it be different if B was president and A was vice president, even though we're using the same two people? So the order does matter here because we're mainly because we're assigning them to positions. Since we're assigning them to positions, it, it forces the order to matter. And again, like I said, I had these backwards. So the answer to number two is here. So it's eight P two. So you got a total of eight. You want to know how many ways you can arrange two of the eight. So that would be eight P two. Two because there's two positions, president, and vice president. So 8P2 is 8 factorial over 8 minus 2 factorial, which is 8 factorial over 6 factorial. And if you want to use a little trick, 8 factorial can be written as 8 times 7 times 6 factorial all over 6 factorial. And then 8 times 7 is 56 because the 6 factorial is canceled. Okay, so here's, here's another example. Uh, number of ways to award the first three places in a contest of 10 people. That would be a permutation, 10P3. Number of ways president and vice president can be assigned from eight people. I just covered that. Number of ways four people can be arranged in four chairs. Well, that would be uh, 4P4. So, because we're arranging all four. So, that would be 4P4. Now, there are some special cases of permutations, but you don't need to memorize them. You already know that NPN is N factorial, um, but actually so is NP N minus 1. So if you said, uh, you know, 4P4 is going to be 24, but it turns out that if you calculate 4P3, that's also going to be 24. Um, NP1 is always N it's kind of a silly question to ask, but if 10 people were running a race and you wanted to know how many ways you could award only the first place position, well, that would be 10 because you, know, you could award each, each person could possibly win first place. And then um, NP0 is always 1. 
So out of 10 places, how many ways is there to award no awards? Well, there's one way, just don't award anything. Okay, so that's basically um, permutations in a nutshell here. And now the next thing we're going to talk about is what happens if the order does not matter. So go back to the baseball team with 12 members. Suppose the coach is allowed to nominate five players for all conference. How many groups could he select? Notice I said groups. First, let's randomly select five players. Joe, Sam, Bob, Ray, and Don. When the coach writes the names down, does the order matter? Wouldn't it be the same five nominated if we wrote Sam, Joe, Don, Ray, Bob? It's the same group, right? So, so by rearranging the order in this example, we get nothing new. So that would mean that we're not interested in the number of ways we can arrange the people. We're only interested in the number of five player subsets are possible. And when that's the case, we're simply looking for the number of combinations. And we're going to talk about combinations in the next video.